What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning. Hope you all had a great, st great start of the weekend. Um, at least you can start it right now together with me looking at Luna Classic. Uh, and this is the wrong Luna. I covered this before that. Um, but Luna Classic, I mean, there have been a lot of theories going around that um, at least some people from Terra are trying to get people from Luna Classic to get to the new Luna. Um, I'm not sure whether I believe in those theories. Let me know down in the comments w w what you think about that whole theory. Um, I'm interested in that. I mean, th there's definitely a motive, right? And uh, Luna 2.0 talked about this just a minute ago because I also made a video on Luna. Uh, but Luna, I mean, th there's, there's no question. Luna is manipulated, all right? There's at least some manipulation in this volume uh, and in the price. There's definitely something being done, all right? So... Uh, the motive together with definite um, definite manipulation albeit will manipulation right i mean it's still manipulation but there's definitely a case to be made right now though luna classic is still the bigger one it's it's even way bigger it's a, it's at a 2.6 billion market cap luna 2.0 is at 750 million and i don't think that's go going to grow uh, way more um, but obviously, it, it, it's it's probably a little bit scary for, for Luna Classic holders. So I just wanted to make a, a quick mainly price update on, on Luna Classic. We're really going to be taking a look at, is, is this catastrophic? Is this going to be the, the, the bottom for, for Luna Classic? Or is this the start of a crash? All right, those are some of the things, some of the questions we're going to be talking about. And, and to talk about that, we need to take a look at the chart, obviously. Um, so yesterday, when I, I yesterday I also made a market update, what I said is that there were two scenarios, and both scenarios I expect us to to reach up to this level here at sixty five thousand. That's my price target. It still is, and then from there, I mean, we, we could also get higher than that. Next price target is probably seventy five thousand, um, but then I'll, I'll just have to update it, all right? Because in in times like these, when coins move like this, it's just the best to uh, analyze them a lot, all right, and, and to regularly update them. Uh, so yesterday I said we either stay above 50,000 and get up there quickly, or we'll drop down to this level, which is happening right now, as you can see, or we'll drop down to this level here, 40,000, consolidate on top of that, and then later on, um, it's, it's probably going to be taking a little bit longer than this, all right, we might actually consolidate for a couple of days. That's very possible, isn't the end of the world. Um, and then when we break above 50,000, we'll take that break retest, break above 55,000 and get up to 65,000, all right? So I still think this is the most likely scenario, um, but these moves have scared me a little bit too. So even though I, I truly believe that, that this is it, you can also see some bearish momentum slipping through, right? I mean, the EMAs have turned on us, for example, and, and this is only one hour time frame, so I wouldn't be too worried. Um, but there is some more bearish momentum. So you can already see that we hit this uh, 200 EMA yesterday too with a, with a big spike. Um, I mean, in my opinion, even if we drop down to 37,000 and 35,000, I still think we would then later on get back above that level and, and do something like this. All right, it, it's just going to take longer. If, if we have these, these bearish moves, it's, it's just going to take a little bit longer and it's going to... Um, have to get more more bullish momentum and more buyers into it. So um, I just wanted to say that that even though if even if we break down below for that forty thousand level, I still think we're getting up to sixty five thousand. Uh, we just need that that news and those fundamentals. All right. So uh, that's my analysis and my take on Luna Classic. If you do have any questions about it, feel free to ask me down in the comments. Uh, but for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening. Have a great weekend and take care. Bye.